Last year, the Fujifilm X100 was the talk of the town. However, with a price point of around £1,000, there's a lot of people looking at it longingly, but not able to buy it. Fortunately, this year, it's got a little brother. This is the Fujifilm X10. Now, if we put it next to the X100, you can see they're pretty similar in design. The X10 is a bit smaller, and inside the camera, the sensor is smaller. However, it's still a pretty large sensor for a small compact camera. It's two thirds of an inch, which means you should be getting really good clarity and great image quality, even in low light. It's a 12 megapixel camera that boasts absolutely loads of manual controls. So if you really want to adjust the shutter speed, the aperture, whatever it may be, this is a camera that will let you do that. You can even shoot in RAW with the Fujifilm X10. Now, one thing we absolutely love about this is it's got a high quality optical viewfinder just on the rear of the camera. Now, it's fully constructed from glass, and I can tell you from looking through it, you get a very bright, very sharp field of view. Inevitably, because it's an optical viewfinder on a non-digital SLR camera, you're going to get some parallax error. So if you look through it, as I am right now, I can actually just about see the tip of the lens. What's interesting is to zoom the lens, and there's a four-time zoom on this, you twist the barrel of the lens. Now I can tell you there's one little issue that comes up. I can see my finger obscuring the viewfinder as I do that. However, something you could certainly get used to. Here I am changing the way that I zoom the lens so I don't get my finger in the way. The lens begins from a wide angle of 28 millimeters, so you can fit plenty in even if you're shooting indoors or trying to capture landscape shots. Now this is a camera that can be easily positioned against models like the Canon G12 or the Nikon P7100. Price-wise, Fujifilm can't commit exactly at the moment, but we're expecting this to be over £500. Unsurprising given how hands-on it is and how large the two-thirds of an inch sensor is inside this camera. Really excited about it, can't wait to get it into the test labs. But for now, for much more on digital cameras, check on at which.co.uk.